I thought I would share with you where I'm getting the information for the little mini-series that we're doing on the uh, L-head Briggs & Strand engine teardown. Uh, I've been watching a lot of these repair videos on YouTube and I find them fascinating. And so I decided to invest a little time and money into this and do a practical kind of home study course on it. And what I found out was Briggs & Stratton has a course for their master service technician. Well, I'm not going for a master service technician uh, certification, but I thought it would be interesting to share with you as I run through it some of the things that I'm learning from their course studies. I purchased their, uh, the textbook that we'll be uh, getting a lot of our information out of. It also came with a workbook with a bunch of questions and an answer key. It also came with a CD that has questions, videos, and flashcards to help with their uh, examination. And they wanted us to have two repair books that we, we knew quite well. They're going to be an open book uh, exam. This is the L head, and then they wanted us to also have the opposed twin cylinder repair manual. And we might even get one of those engines and tear that down together also. I get a, a much better understanding as we're going through it. But the information in this textbook really blows me away at uh, how in-depth and it, it, gives, it covers more of the whys than hows. Uh, everybody wants to know how it works and you know the function, but they, they go into even more depth. Uh, clearances, why they're like that, why are the angles cut the way they are. Uh, just very fascinating all the different ports on a carburetor, what they're there for, what they do. Um, I, I want to tell you some of the, the facts that I found out about this. The small outdoor power equipment industry is huge. It's eight and a half billion dollars a year and uh, it provides 33,000 service technician jobs. So if this does interest you, there's more small engines out in the environment than there are cars. Uh, look in your garage. You've got pressure washers, generators, lawn mowers, riding mowers, edgers, weed eaters, chainsaws. I mean, small engines are out there, and over time, they are all going to need repairing. This is a few years back, but Briggs & Stratton made 8 million engines a year just to keep up with the new power equipment that was coming out on the market. Uh, back to that service exam, if you're interested in it, uh, it's 311 questions and it takes four and a half hours. All right, I just wanted you to see where we're getting our information from and the course actually that we're, we're trying to follow here. Pretty interesting. I'll catch you on the next one. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this and share it with people if you would. Let's get those numbers going to the million. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.